Why did you get so far ahead of me here? You got you. Right, there we go. I hope other things. I've got that and that. Last artifact, that one, and the speech chairs there, and the fishing. It's actually better now, I've kind of ignored some of the stuff. All the little treasures, like, nope, don't want them. Not today. There's a lot of guards here. This area is off limits. Oh great, thanks. Where do we get in there? I've got oh I can get one from there, I think. What's up there? Lanes, the wires. Wires, the cables. I shouldn't be seen by them? Hopefully? Shouldn't. I'm gonna go back the way I came. It's fine, we're just gonna go. Which sounds a little. Jump to here. I go down here. See, oh, okay. They never expected a thing. Hmm. <laughs> They didn't suspect that either, they were unaware of my intentions when I couldn't even see them. Starlight, a swift death by a, a sharp swift sting death? separates us, both by lip and by heart. Whether by land or by sea, we never shall part. A fellow romantic soul. Perhaps you might be able to aid my plight. What ails you? A witch told me that one sting from the fuzzy little demon would steal my breath. But my love keeps bees. You cannot deliver your love letter because there are bees there in the way. There are bees. I could carry it for you. If you would do this kindness for Gil, then you must be a kindred spirit. Do you also enjoy the stamen and the petal? I enjoy much of many things. Oh, I had a feeling you would understand. I have painted my love in words in this letter. Let your romantic heart guide you. If I find this love of yours, I'll deliver your feelings. I'm sure your words will lead me to your heart's desire. Thank you! Oh, thank you, stranger! I shall call you Sunshine, for you broke through the clouds of my loneliness. The sweetness of honey on the tongue, with the danger of being stung. It is like love, always a chance of losing. Oh, Starlight! My star- Have you given my letter I to my beekeeping far. love? The hive is not far. That's probably not the right way to go. Oh. 
Oh, over there. There we go. Starlight. Starlight. Which of these keepers of the bees fits Gil's poems? Oh, fits Gil's poems, right. I'm gonna look at these poems. Ah, uh, let's see if we've got them. Let's see who greatly or poorly written they are. Okay. Oh, starlight, my starlight. I cannot bear the weight of my devotion. It pulls on my chest like a great beast, tearing me asunder from my ribs to my lips. You haunt me every waking hour, your features so delicate. God himself must have painted them upon with a fine brush. Your hair splays, bounces, falls in great locks, bracken tresses. Whose eyes are that um, of his soft? As a young calf and limbs as loose as a summer willow. I will await your answer at the northern beech tree at dusk. What see you, old friend? I'm guessing her, but I could send a dude over. Oh <laughs> no, it won't be the same. I'm guessing. What are you doing with that? Are you warring them? Would you say that you are cow-eyed and willow-limbed? Oh! Oh! I suppose! I'm not sure what that means, but it is pretty! Are you composing a poem in my likeness? Wait, 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 hold on. My mistake. Apologies. Would you say that your hair could be described as bracken colored tresses i beg your pardon <laughs> it matters oh. not i Return could still fuck work. this up but i don't really want to i just want to see what he says do you consider yourself a man who has features so delicate that god himself must have painted them on with a fine brush uh, yes Uh, forgive my intrusion. It's got to be you. Let's do this. Why are you looting? Hello again. The wandering poet. Hello again. Uh, not me, but an admirer who prefers to remain secret until you two can meet. I have a letter with more details. details. Oh, goodness. Many thanks. I cannot wait to meet my admirer. I have delivered the letter. Now to see if Gil has met his match. Let one be the east of the heather for hay and our minster. Wait, where the fuck did he go? balls <laughs> oh shit she wandered off Oh, 
I can't speak to you again. Oh no, I fucked that one up. Oh well. Right, um... Uh, Western, not so sure. Where the Af Afon Thames River meet the west side of the town. Like here? Kinda? Whoops. I'm guessing that was maybe his sister that I tried to match him up with. I did not know this before. Are you pumpkin carving? <laughs> I think you are. Or no, maybe not pumpkin. Clear. August that shall break this. Go. Over there. <gasps> oh, this is where I, I yeah, I entered the town. Oh. <laughs> There's not the poor woman over. Well, you know what wouldn't happen if you went in my way, right? There you are, Gunner, and with a smile I haven't seen in some time. Eivor, over here. Eivor, thought I smelt you under oh, wind. Off. Gunner, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my Bridget. own heart's yeah. root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our gunner. Lavendine da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal, but she loves the ugly little thing. Have you a family, Bridget? If mama dad cut it even gilly than anun, couldn't help drews me. Bricks with ma and pa were the last high priestess and elder man. They since passed on, but the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Dim Jolch, you two bags of air see how good pass gillu. That's a very gal, please sound. Right? No daylight to waste then, huh? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger. They come from all oh, the Most are too busy. Sawan, is that what these cap roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's bring a few back. Okay. 
Okay. Why are you surprised to go to fucking horse? Oh, where are you going? Come There is the elder man. Kunan! <laughs> A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task Thank is you, done. Obi. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Hmm. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Oh, jeez. Well, what brings you here? The way people here talk, Kunan's boots are hard to fill. And your feet look small. <laughs> All good friendships often start with wit bubbles. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated godright kings for puppet rulers? So called puppet kings keep your land safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks, only hospitality. A apples! Eivor, <gasps> wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowen. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder. As your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. He does not leave at the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain <laughs> him in the afterlife. <laughs> Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I, Devder? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. It was a busy time. <coughs> well, shall oh, we then? Not the friendliest dude, is he? Do we <laughs> tail off wicker fire? I wonder if we can win him over. Sour. Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and that was magic. not my horse. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People Jesus, he's a menace. Especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. 
bear a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews, and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Lo, in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Teftir. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Teftir, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Spell the swine! There you are. Oh, nice. Oh no, the violence. That was close. Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester, Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kuna. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one, find me at the festivities. Wait, am I not saving you? Oh, guess not then. Fuck. <laughs> Apparently we can't jump if we're going really slow. Eivor, there you are. Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful, accosted by a singular of boar. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Brivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight, two of you as a pair. I need a drink. <laughs> Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Ni gwisgol anfel a sprydion and creatures of the vale. 
the bag for treats. Bag for treats. Flowers used to give their glass to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. <laughs> it's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Lubed. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Lubed, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have... Gunner, if no one else is dressed as well. Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewid. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sour night and the moon is high. Mary Lewid haunts my door. The air is chilling and ghosts are spilling all across the misty moor. Oh, ghosts and beasties. Here, spirit, take your reward. <laughs> right, those are what, three of them maybe? Where's the next one? Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask. Where in the fuck else am I going? To turn you into a gentle is this way? I am not going to sing, Gunner. That's not a proper door, is it? This may be a proper door. Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road from my abode, there is an open veil. I've been here knocking and a-walking. Now give me cake and ale. Brilliant, that is! Cake and ale. Oh, lads getting into their cups. Scaring the wee ones. Over here? This might be it. Uh, Glor Chestershire. Thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty children. our stores what? so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Moldy Look cheese. At these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunner. You should see this. Gunner? There you go. My cakes. I need your eyes, yeah. my friend. Okay. Yeah, the Glover Chestershire, that's what they're calling it. Gunner. Oh, oh he got himself in some trouble. Deserter. I said, cloth ears, take your false gods and piss off back to your shit smeared hovel. You are either fearless or stupid boy <laughs> to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Both? Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunner, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hood and more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ in tall. I just heard Christ. You die now. Thick skull. <laughs> It's you lot we should be burning alive! Jeez. I you Oof. sure you don't want to stay in Glowerchester? Excuse me. know how to have fun. Poor spirit! 
My leg. Runner. What did it do to it? Oh, Modron. Modron's been mentioned before. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. <laughs> Let's see that leg then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis. Modron's a compass to patch this land. Modron's a good person? Will he walk again? The gash is deep. If I cannot save the leg, the pigs will eat well tonight. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Oh, okay. Gwenith, my love. Go back to Even the house street, and bring like the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. <laughs> oh, give me strength. The man modern is known on a humor toish gutran. Is no one finding my mortal injury so funny? Go, Aver. Make Marion try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Modern. You do not have to save his leg. I'll understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna get close to where I need to be and then see it. Hmm. 